The 2323 Energy Portal has already opened and we already see what it is doing. So let's dive into that right now. Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and I am recording this on June 24th, uh, 2023. I was going to record this video yesterday morning, felt the need to wait and I'm glad I did because some things needed to, uh, you know, sort of open up, play out so that we could discuss it. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm gonna be taking an angelic approach to the number frequencies. We'll start with that first, then we'll talk about what the combination of those numbers signify. And then we'll talk about some things that we're seeing in the world. So starting off, we had, you know, June 23rd, 2023. So we focus on the 2323. That is a pattern that was happening for that energy portal. What we have there, well, let's start with the twos. We have, if it's a repeating two, like a two, two, that is a master number. If we have repeating threes, also a master number. So we have the number of two, which is signifying duality. It's the one number that can kind of go either way, right? So it really depends on the approach, you know, what you're doing with it, but it usually signifies balance, harmony, uh, making sure that you're giving equal consideration to all areas of your life. But like I said, it can also indicate duality. We'll get into that. <laughs> There's so much to talk about here. But then the number three. The number three is wisdom. Again, mastery, reevaluating. It can be communication. It could be asking you to look at where there might be some weak spots. And then when you take the two and the three and you combine them, you get five. And this is commonly known as the number of change. And as I'm hearing right now, significant change. And it is also the number of the plot twist. Seeing what's going on in the world, things started happening in Russia yesterday, right on that date, right as that energy was opening. You on a personal level might have experienced some, you know, sudden realizations uh, or getting more information about people, situations, everything. It's like a change in perspective. Didn't see that coming in some cases, right? And as we come into the 24th, now we have a two and a four reduces to six. It's the sixth month. When we have a double six. This is indicating a correction, a correction. It is density consciousness. It is looking where at where the mistakes have been made and going back and correcting them, all right? So even as I record this, there are things going on in Belarus. Uh, there were things happening in Paris. I mean, a lot of things shifting and changing. And I wanna let you know that this is only the beginning. This is absolutely only the beginning. So we are going to be seeing and learning new information. Uh, if you wanna go back to the video I did a few years ago, it's about the energy of 2020 to 2024. And it really is a time of destruction. People get scared by that word, but really it's just tearing down. The, everything that's being deconstructed needed to go, right? So some people, you know, we are experiencing, um, if you want to see it as a dimensional shift, a vibrational shift, a separation. You know, these are all things that occur when some people are saying, okay, I'm ready, maybe on their soul's contract, they are ready for that change. Whereas others are saying, you know what? I, I need to still work on some things. So it's not fair to judge people who don't want to get on a spiritual path or see things the way you do. That's not, that's not right, okay? We need to let them be where they are. But yes, we are in this time where things are gonna be shifting. There's gonna be a lot of stuff up in our faces. And I got to say, the theme here is plot twist. I was not shocked when I heard the news about what's going on in Russia. I mean, the way it was playing out, that was a little like, oh, look at that. But the fact that it's something around the world would be happening along those lines, that didn't shock me. Okay. So I want to make this video because I was even having a conversation with somebody where they were saying they keep seeing 2323. Three, two, three. And I've been seeing it as well. And I was like, you know what? I need to make a video about that because I wonder how many of you are seeing that. Uh, now, 
I got to clear this up in this video. I made a video saying that the new way angels are communicating with us is not necessarily through repeating numbers anymore. And people took that to mean that angels would not be sending us any more, <laughs> any more uh, repeating number signs. That's my little fire I've got going on here. It's crackling. And what I meant by that was if you're not seeing a lot of repeating numbers, it doesn't necessarily mean that angels are not speaking with you. You can still see repeating numbers, but just be aware that there's another way that they're going to be communicating with us. Okay, so bear that in mind. But because so many people have been seeing two, three, two, three, or repeating twos, repeating threes, or even repeating fives, this is not, I don't want to call it a warning. It's not like, look out, danger ahead. It's more, are you ready? Like this is what this has all been building up to. Are you ready to step up and take care of this? So for you as an individual, what might this look like? It looks like changing your mind, right? It looks like suddenly maybe even having a change of heart. That's the five too. Think fifth dimension, think heart space, you know, opening up and allowing your heart to speak to you in a more truthful way. And that can often facilitate the change, the plot twist, you know, that sort of thing. So you might be going along with something and you realize, I don't want to do this. I don't want to be a part of this. And now you're listening to your heart. You'll make a different choice. Could this look like very surface level change? Absolutely. Maybe you're moving, changing jobs, relationships. If you're single and you swear you're always going to be single, maybe that changes, right? <laughs> or maybe you are working your way out of a current partnership or it doesn't have to mean that you either get with someone new or you break up. It doesn't have to mean that at all because there are lots of happy couples out there, but the dynamic is definitely going to shift. What are the components of that shift? Here's where we need to balance. This is where we've gotten too into the duality of things and we need to follow what we know now. You know, for example, if you in a partner are sort of arguing about where you want to live. More information. I'm going to explain why that's kind of interesting. It, well, every time I say something and that starts getting loud, pay attention to what was just being said. Because that, I don't know, it kind of intensifies when I say certain things. So just uh, check that out as you listen to it. If it's picking up on the mic. If it's not, you'll know when it's getting intense because I say it. <laughs> right? So... You'll know. Um, but let's say you guys have been arguing about where to live and now you get some more bit of information, right? Or someone has a wake up call and says, okay, maybe this isn't where we need to be. This is not working. Let's make that decision together, right? So that's what helps facilitate this change. Now, what I do as a service, of course, I help guide people. I do angelic messaging. Um, help people basically handle the things that are coming. It's not necessarily a psychic reading. You know, it's more about, I always call myself a spiritual counselor, <laughs> right? Of sorts to help you feel at peace with taking the next step. Um, and not necessarily presenting like, here's the whole layout of the rest of your life. That's valuable, I suppose, in some, if it's safe for you to know, but I'm more about helping you handle it and get through it, okay? So I do want to make information more accessible to people so I am putting all kinds of little sale codes up to get a certain percentage off of readings if that helps you you know just trying to have some fun with it I totally understand that times are tough for people so I want everyone to have access if they are interested in having a session so make sure you're following me on my community tab on my YouTube channel it's angel souls um because this might get posted elsewhere. <laughs> it's Angel Souls. Go over there to the community tab. That's where I'm always posting codes. As of the recording of this video, um, it is timeless, but the code would be plot twist 30 that may not be in play by the time you see this video because they are timeless, even though we're talking about dates. But it's always good to come back and refer to these to see how things have played out. So keep that in mind. If things feel very unsettled, of course they do. Of course they do. If you need to feel more grounded, work with Sandalfin. Work with Archangel Ariel. You know, connect with animals. Connect with nature. 
All of that can help you through right now. But what you don't want to be doing is panicking or being smug. That's another bad energy. I don't I don't think many of us mention that. You know, the told you so. I'm psychic and I knew that was going to happen and I knew ugh, uh, who cares? <laughs> right? No. Don't go down that road. Don't go down that road. Be paying attention to where your frequency is. What is coming up for you? What is coming up for you? And the fire started going again. This is the time to be looking at that. If you want to journal, a lot of people find that very helpful. You can see patterns. Check out the description box. I have offerings for that as well. But just be working and, and tuning in on the soul self right now. Yes, you're going to have surface level changes. Yes, they may be abrupt. Yes, it could be shocking. But you'll be able to handle it. And like I said, I'm here to help in any way that I can. All right, so we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.